Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Smoking Steve's today. We're gonna be smoking up a turkey breast for you today. Uh, well, actually we're gonna be doing it tomorrow, but uh, we're gonna get this thing all prepped up tonight, set it in the fridge, let it get all nice and happy. Then we'll be getting up in the morning and uh, putting it on the uh, Rectech Bull pellet smoker. And uh, I'm really loving this Rectech Bull. And uh, the pellets I use is a uh, Bear Mountain, brand Bear Mountain. And I like to use the uh, Gourmet Blend. Uh, these pellets, uh, they smell awesome as it's cooking. And the flavor is uh, just a mellow type smoky flavor that's really, really good. And I really like it. I've had a lot of smokers over the years and uh, I've had the Big Green Egg, uh, the Acorn, uh, Weber Smoky Mountain, uh, Brinkman. I've had a lot of them, but uh, the recent purchase is the Rectech Bull and also I have the Rectech Bullseye and both of them are excellent smokers and the uh, Bear Mountain Pellets are second to none in my opinion. Really adds that flavor and the smell when you're cooking it. You just want to be around that and smell that during the whole process. It's all good stuff. So uh, whether you're fixing this turkey for Thanksgiving or whatever, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, now I've made previous uh, videos on spatchcock turkeys, whole turkeys, and whatever. If you want, check those out as well. But uh, let's get this uh, turkey breast all prepped up, and uh, we'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, here it is, guys turkey breast with gravy packets. So what that means is there's gravy packets in the cavity of this turkey breast. So we wanna be sure to get that out and any other goodies that might be stuck in there. So it's a bone-in turkey breast and it weighs a little over six pounds. I think it was 6.4 pounds. So uh, we're gonna get this guy unpackaged and uh, get it all prepped up. All right, here she is all unpackaged. Uh, we just rinsed it off. I'm gonna pat it dry here. And uh, what we're gonna be doing, got a little excess skin here, we're gonna be cutting that off as well. But uh, we're gonna be using a little injection today. Uh, this Tony Creole style butter injectable mar marinade. We're gonna be using that today uh, to inject this breast. And I got just bought this uh, fancy injector. It's called Barbecue Monster. And it comes with all these different tips and uh, whatnot. It's got, uh, you know, large holes for uh, if you want to put seasoning in there or something, you can inject it and it won't get all clogged up on you. So I'll include that link uh, underneath my video if you want to pick one up or check it out. So uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, turkey ready. First of all, we're going to start off by uh, cutting some of the skin away. Okay, you guys, if you want a good knife for cutting meat, trimming meat, trimming fat, skin, whatever, this one right here, I love this thing. Really works good. Okay, you want to start out uh, with this stuff here and just uh, throw it in a, dump it in a cup or something, whatever you think you might use. You don't want to be dipping in the bottle here and cross-contaminating uh the liquid because you can reuse this so uh, you don't want to cross contaminate that so uh, dump just dump some in a cup or a bowl and uh, use it out of that so all we're going to do is take this uh, injector here stick her down in the liquid pull this plunger up and suck some of that liquid up in there Then we're going to inject this breast. Kind of push that plunger in as you pull the needle out. We're going to do both sides here. And you want to get quite a bit in there. You can see it running out. That's no problem. No problem at all. 
Okay, we emptied that. Let's go ahead and get us some more. Do this other side. Pretty simple process. And it should give you a nice, juicy, flavorful breast. And that's what we're wanting. See if I can get me a little bit more out of here. I think we're getting plenty in there and we're getting plenty on the outside too, so no worries though. Okay, that's gonna do it for the injection. We'll set this aside for now. Okay, we got this turkey breast all injected up. Now it's time for the rub. And uh, I got a little bit of this rub left. And what this is, it's a Chris Lilly uh, recipe. Uh, he won uh, six uh, world championships uh, with this rub, only it was used on uh, uh, pork butt or pulled pork. But it's also good on chicken and uh, turkey and stuff like that, so that's what I'm using today. Uh, Chris Lilly uh, award-winning recipe, and I'll include that uh, in the description underneath the video. So uh, what we want to do is just go ahead and give a generous coat of this on the outside of this turkey breast. Go ahead and get plenty on there. Try to get a nice covering all the way around. This is going to give it an awesome flavor along with that injection. You can use this Chris Lily rub, but make your own. Uh, maybe you got your own uh, favorite rub you like to use. Go ahead and use that. But if you want to try something different, something that's really good. Uh, try this recipe out and you won't be disappointed. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get this covered up, put it in the refrigerator overnight, let it get all nice and happy. Then we'll be putting it on the smoker tomorrow. So we'll see you here in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get this in the fridge and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, it's so the next morning. That uh, turkey breast has been in the fridge here overnight, getting all nice and happy. And uh, we're gonna go out and uh, fire up that Rectech bull and get it up to uh, 225. And we're gonna let it uh, take on some smoke for a little while, and then we'll be cranking that temperature up uh, and uh, try to crisp that skin up a little bit. So uh, here's a look at the turkey. It's all looking pretty good, so uh, I'm gonna go out and get that uh, smoker fired up and get to cooking. Okay, here's the Rectech bull sitting out here, getting all ready. And we got the uh, Bear Mountain uh, Gourmet Blend barbecue pellets ready to go in. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a hopper here and uh, get some of this dumped in. I already have some pellets in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and top them off a little bit. Hold the 40 pounds of pellets. So that baby's all uh, loaded up, ready to go. So all we have to do is fire it up now. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. Pretty simple process. Just hit the power on button. That's the main power. And after you do that, uh, uh, hit this other power button here. You turn the display on. And it's showing a set point of 225. And you can adjust that by just turning the knob. But we want 225. So that's where we're going to set it. Okay, the grill temperature is up to 225 now. And I got the turkey breast on here and the temperature probe uh, uh, stuck into the press. Now this probe, uh, you want to try to keep that off the bone if you can, so you can get an accurate uh, temperature of the meat itself. So we're going to close the lid here and uh, let her smoke. Now comes the hard part. All this cooking, wow, just wears a guy out. So we're just going to kick back here, take life easy, and let her smoke. And see that smoke rolling? Wow. It's really smelling good already. Okay, this turkey breast uh, just reached 100 degrees. Well, that's showing 101 degrees right now. And uh, set temperature 225. We're going to go ahead and crank that temperature up to uh, 350 and try to get that skin a little crispy. Uh, we don't like that rubbery skin, so we're going to try to avoid that rubbery skin by cranking the temperature up. Okay, let's take a peek. That turkey breast just hit 165. Oh wow, look at that. Looking mighty good. That skin's looking nice and crispy on there. Man, I can't wait to tear into this guy. So we're going to take this thing inside, let it rest. Here's what she looks like, guys. That skin is looking good. Hopefully it's as good as it looks. So we're going to be cutting into it here in uh, 5 or 10 minutes. We're going to let this rest for a little bit, and then we're going to cut into it and cut, to, cut those uh, breasts off and then slice her up and be doing a taste test. Okay guys, been a little over two hours, about two and a half hours. Uh, we cooked at uh, 225 and we got that temperature of the turkey breast up to 100 degrees and then we cranked that temperature up to 350 on the grill. Try to get that skin crispy and I think we accomplished it. It's looking mighty, mighty good. So we're going to uh, show you how to cut these uh, uh, breasts off the bone here. And uh, we're going to be doing a taste test. And you don't want to miss that. Okay, she's been sitting here for about 10 minutes resting. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cut these uh, breasts off the bone. So we're going to start out by cutting here in the middle. Kind of. Feel for that bone down in there. And we want to kind of follow that, uh, those bones and cut that meat away the best we can. That's why I like using this knife. You can feel those bones down in there and just kind of work around the outer edge of it. My brother-in-law's a, a meat cutter by trade and if he's watching this, he's probably getting a good laugh out of this. Still pretty hot. So we got this one side removed. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Set this one 
side here in the pan and we'll slice that up here in a little bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this other side removed and uh, then we'll be doing the taste test. Okay, I got that second half of the breast off and uh, we're gonna slice this guy up. Really looking good, smelling good. Skin looks good. This thing is really juicy. Cut a few fat pieces, then we'll cut some skinnier ones. Man, look at the juices come out of this. Really looking good. Okay guys, comes the real test. I got me a little piece cut off here. It's looking good, smelling good, and it's dripping wet. It's really juicy. Oh yeah. Oh, this is so good. So juicy. The skin's a little bit crispy. This is a ticket, guys. I smoked it at 225. I uh, got that temperature up the, to uh, 100 degrees on the turkey, and then I cranked that temperature up to 350, and uh, got that turkey breast up to 165 degrees, pulled it off, and this is the result. It is so good. Those Bear Mountain pellets gives us that nice smoky flavor. That rub is excellent on the outside. And that injection gives that added moisture, that juiciness to the breast. This is a winner. Give it a try, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.